Hello boys and girls. Today we are studying out of the book of Deuteronomy and it is our last lesson about Moses for this year. It was almost time for the Israelites to begin packing so they could go to their new homes. In a short time they would quit living in the desert. Then they would go across the Jordan River and move to the new land the Lord God had promised would always be their homeland. Everywhere in the Israelite camp, people were excited about the new place where they would live. But there was one person in the camp that was not going to go with the Israelites into the promised land. That person was Moses. You may be surprised to, the, to know that Moses, the man who had been the leader of these people for so long and who had helped them in so many ways, was not going. Well, Moses was not surprised. God had told him he would not go into the land. God had already chosen a new leader for the Israelites. God had chosen Joshua to lead them. And God had another plan for Moses. One last time, Moses called all the people together. Moses was ready to tell the people goodbye. But he wanted to finish all that God had told him to do. God had given Moses some special words to say to the people before he left. First of all, Moses had written a song for the people. The words told about God. It was a rather long song, and because we don't know the tune, we can't sing it here today. But every word of Moses' song is written here in God's Word. After the people had listened to all the words of the song, Moses once more reminded the people, Pay attention to all the words I have said to you. Teach your children to obey the way God says to live. Then Moses called each family by name and asked for good things to happen to them and their children in the promised land. Now the time had come for Moses to say goodbye to all the Israelites and to do the last thing God had told him to do. God said, Moses, climb to the top of the high mountain, Mount Nebo. There you will be able to see all the land which I have promised will belong to the Israelite people. And there, God said, up on that mountain is where you will die. So the people watched as Moses climbed away from them and began to climb up the mountain. Even though Moses was more than a hundred years old, God had kept Moses' body as strong as a young man. Even his eyes could see, still see, far as ever. So climbing a mountain was not too hard for Moses to do. Goodbye, goodbye, bye Moses. God be with you, the Israelites called as long as they could see. Moses climbing up the mountain. They must have thought, we are going to miss Moses very much. But before they became, became too sad or lonesome, there was something wonderful that they could think about that would make them very happy. Moses would not be alone on that mountain. Not for one minute. Moses' best friend, the Lord God, who had been with him all his life and who had talked to him so many times, would be right there with him on that mountain, and then he would be with him forever. Higher and higher up the mountain, Moses climbed. When he had finished climbing to the very top, God showed him all of the new land. Moses looked out over the mountains and the valleys with green grass. Moses saw the sparkling waters of the sea and the beautiful palm trees. God knew that Moses wanted to see the promised land. So it was God's special gift to Moses to show him all of this land which would belong to the Israelite families forever. And then, just as God had said, there on the mountain, as he stood looking at the new land with the Lord God, Moses died. Perhaps the people wondered, who will bury Moses? Where will his grave be? But they need not have worried. God himself took care of all of that. God is with those who love him as they live and as they die. When we can be sure that it was all done just as exactly as God wanted it done. The Israelite people never forgot about Moses. They remembered how Moses loved God and what a mighty leader he had been for them. They kept on telling their children and their grandchildren, and then they told their children how God was with Moses back in Egypt and through all the hard years living in the desert, and how God was with Moses even when he died. The Israelites always remembered that it was Moses who had taught God's laws 
and the importance of obeying them. They knew that God loved Moses and that Moses had shown them what it means to love God. Boys and girls, I hope y'all are still working very hard on your verses. And as soon as we are able to meet again and make plans, we will be making plans for an awards night. Hope to see you guys soon.